I'll show you how to find the key of any song or beat for your autotune. Your vocals will sound good and you won't be doing any more song like this. Yeah, 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 bitch. Yeah, 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 bitch, bitch. That's a big no-no, fam. Yikes. Uncertified Dr. Mod the Goat here, ready to save you. Let's hop on FL Studio. First, you have to do is load up your beat. The first thing you're going to need to do is come all the way here and click here. This is going to be the channel rack. And on the channel rack, you want to have right click or just press plus and click on FL keys. The first thing we need to do now is try to find which notes sound good with the beat. I found that the keys that sound good with this particular instrumental are those key right here C, D, E, F, G, A, and A sharp. You'll notice that if we play any of the other keys that we didn't select, it's not gonna sound good. Let's just check it out. Those keys are off keys. We don't want to select those. Now I'm going to go here on the mixer track. I'm going to be selecting my auto tune. You can use whichever auto tune you want. This right here is called a scale. This is where you want to put the key of the beat on the right scale. Now listen, there's like millions of options. Low key, this shit got me confused the first time I downloaded auto tune. But let me tell you something, bro. You just need major and minor. Pentatonic. I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm not no professional. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about music theory or none of this shit. But the way I'm going to show you is really how you find a key of a song. But all you want to really pick is major or minor. Now we want to know, is it going to be a major? And if so, which key? And or is it going to be a minor? And if so, which key? So to know which one is going to be, we have to go back on our piano roll. I'm going to go here. And this is basically just random scale. There's fucking crazy amount of options. I don't know what the fuck. But all we want to do is come here on melodic scale. We just need to use this major and this minor natural aeolian. That's literally the only two. So I'm going to start with the major. We need to place the major scale next to the notes that sound good with the beat so those are the notes that sound good with the beat i'm gonna come here click major and click on the timeline i need to place it where those notes are the same as those notes so i think it's gonna be like this well if you notice c is here c is here d is here d is here e is here e is here f f g g a a a sharp a sharp so now the major scale this one has been placed based on the right key of the beat all right now we can move on to the minor scale and do the same thing i'm gonna go here select minor natural once again, the minor scale, which is this one, on the same keys that sound good with the beat. Once again, those are the keys that sound good with the beat. So like this, it makes sense. So this is the minor scale. So if we just test it out now, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, A, A, A sharp, A sharp. So now we have the keys that sound good with the beat, the major scale that has been placed based on the keys that sound good with the beat, and the minor scale that has been placed based on the keys that sound good with the beat. Now, I know the song is going to be either in major F or minor D. How do I know that? Is because the root note, which is the first note of the scale, is going to be that one one that we use. So this is a major scale and this is the root note F. So this is a major F. This is the minor scale, root note D. This is a minor D. So we know that the beat is either in major F or minor D. That's it. If you put your auto tune in any of the two, it's going to sound good. But one of the two is going to sound a little bit better. But now let's try to find, is it going to be a major F or is it going to be a minor D? How I personally usually do it is I play the beat and I play those two keys and try to find which one of the two kind of fit in the middle of the beat. The key doesn't hit like too high or too low, but really in the middle. So let's test it out. I'm going to try to play the note D to see if that's the one that feels kind of in the middle. Okay, to me, that sounds pretty much in the middle. Let's just test F to C. It can be a little bit tricky here. Honestly, even me, I make mistakes, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I know the key sounds sounds good in D. And this is a minor scale once again. So I know this song is going to be minor D. I go my auto tune. I'm going to select natural minor D. Once again, if you're not sure between D or F, it doesn't matter. Go on your auto tune and select major F. You know, major F. It's going to sound exactly the same. Probably one of the two auto tunes is going to sound slightly off. But if you're in the major opposite of the minor, it should be. Cool. I have my main vocals here. Those are the vocals of a song that I made. So now, my dude, hey, let's take a listen of these vocals with the key of the song that I picked, and then we'll hear the difference with the opposite major F. Yeah, can't believe I made this shit. 
I ain't had no ways to reach Came out of my fucking block yeah. I know these babies ain't shit uh, I know they think I'm a fly Fuck them cause I'm finna win never stop Face out the door and might just be the night Yeah, yeah Diamond my wrist and I'm counting these bands Huh? Cardio watch and I got some velvet on my pants Huh? Oh yeah, by the way, this is good for ad libs too, right? Like you just go on your ad libs and put the auto tune key on the right on the right key. So now let's just hear if there's a difference if we go on major F. Yeah, can't believe I made this shit. I ain't had no ways to reach. Came out of my fucking block. I know these babies ain't shit. I know they think I'm a flop. Yeah, cause I'm finna win never stop. Face out the door and might just be the night. Yeah, yeah. Diamond my wrist and I'm counting these bands. I'm counting these bands. Yup, yup. Cardio watch and I got some bread on my face. Yeah. I give him my chance, y'all really did give him a chance. Huh? Okay, so as you can see, bro, the key is kind of slaps, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen, bro, this shit fucking hit, boy. Yeah. What's good, bro? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? I heard you talking shit. What's good? <laughs> Which auto tune are you currently using? Are you using the one from FL Studio, the stock one, or maybe something from Antares or Waves Tune, or maybe you're using a cracked one? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you're about to get. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Definitely comment down below. I'd be happy to talk to you. And maybe recommend some auto tune if you don't have one yet. You know what I'm saying, bro? Corvette, Corvette, hop in the motherfucking chat like that. How's your back in the back and shit? <laughs> Gotta go, bruh. I wouldn't make it, make it this bro. This was an out of tune tutorial, and this shit turned into like some crazy ass shit, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> What's good, bro? <laughs> While you admire me from that close, make sure to subscribe to enjoy more moments like these. And watch this next video where I give all the unheard secrets on how to use auto-tune. Peace. This is 